Hi, this is Jide Ogusonya from bloggers.ng. Today, I want to show you how you can integrate your FeedBurner subscription form with MailMarch. I will assume that you've already created a FeedBurner feed for your blog at feedburner.com and also you've signed up for a free account at mailmarch.co. So to get started, you have to sign in to your FeedBurner account. So you just go to feedburner.com and sign in with your Gmail account. So once, once you have signed in there, click on the feed you want to use and click on the Publicize tab. When you're on the Publicize tab, then just go ahead and click on the Email Subscriptions link. So once you're on the Email Subscription page, all you have to do is to copy the code for your FitBurner Email Subscription form. So, I can just click here and use Ctrl A to select all. Then you copy the code. So, the next thing you have to do is to go to mailmunch.co and sign into your account there. So, this is my own dashboard at mailmunch.co. If you don't have an account at MailMunch, you just have to create a free account and also add your site. Once you've added your site, you click on the site and you should see something like this. So when you are on the page of the site that you've added to MailMunch, you should see the new form tab. So you click on it. So this is where you now select the kind of mail merge form you want to use. Well, if you select the popover, that means you'll be able to add a pop-up form to your blog, which will also be integrated with your FeedBurner email subscription form. Well, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to choose the embedded form type. This is simply because if you choose this form type, you will get a code which you can use to place the mail munch form anywhere on your blog. If you go for the popover option, after creating the form type at mail munch, you will not get any code to place on your blog. The only thing you just have to do is to ensure you've added the mail merge site code to the header section of your blog. So let's proceed. I'm going to select the embedded option. So on this page, you'll be able to select the style you want to use for your form. There are different styles there and most of them are for premium users. There are two options which are free for you to use. So I'm going to go for this. So right here you can just give a name for the form you want to create. Right here you can create a new list or just select from the ones you might have created. So I'll just leave it as it is and click on create form. Good. So this is where you are going to adjust the settings of your form and also play around with the design of the form. So because we want to use our feed burner form then we are going to make use of the custom option. So you come to fields and click on custom HTML. 
So right here is where you are going to paste the code of your FeedBurner email subscription form, which you copied earlier. So all I do is to paste it. Let's click and paste. Good. As you can see right here, your FeedBurner email subscription form is being displayed. Good. So the next thing for us to do is to play with the design by making use of maybe a uh, custom CSS just to make this form look better. Well, for you to be able to customize this, you should be able to understand how custom CSS works. But for those of you who don't really know how to use custom CSS, I already have a code which you can just edit just to make your form look awesome. So for you to get the code, just check the link in the description of this video on YouTube. So you can just copy the code and edit it. So I'm going to place my modified code here so that the form can look better than this. As you can see now, the form is looking far better than the way it was earlier. I've added some custom CSS that have changed the look of the form. So the next thing you can do is to come back to message to adjust this header and the other text that have been displayed here. So let's say for example, instead of joining our newsletter, you can see get the test updates via email then you can make it to appear in the center Good. if you don't want this test you can come here to edit or delete and if you want to play around with this one, you can also edit and delete. Good. So I'll just leave it the way it is. Then you come to appearance and you see the settings. If you are a free user, there's nothing much to edit right here. You can just leave it the way it is. Then if you come to behavior, right here you will be able to select where you want the form to be placed but ordinarily if you are using it for blogger you don't really need this you can even disable all even if you are using it on a wordpress site you can also disable all because you are going to get a code which you can now manually use to place the form anywhere you want on your site so you can click on display rules if you want to change the rules for example if you don't want it to show on desktop or mobile devices you can play with the settings here also if you just want it to display on a specific post or page then you can make use of a new display rule you can click on new display rule and play with the settings there if you want it to let's say for example you only want it to show on a specific page you click on only show on then URL exact matching then you paste the link right here. then you click done so once you do that the subscription form we only display on the specified URL well I've talked about how you can make use of this in a blog post on my blog you can also check the description of this video on youtube to see the link to that tutorial well after you are done with the settings you come to integrate and you see that you'll not be able to integrate simply because you are making use of custom html 
no problem then the next thing you have to do is to click on publish good as you can see the form the form uh, has been activated for you and here are the codes if you are using wordpress you can just simply make use of this short code and if you are using blogger you can make use of this html code all you just need to do is to copy this code and place it in an html javascript gadget on your blog spot layout if you are using wordpress you can also make use of this code too all you just need to do is to add it to a test widget well when you are done you click on finish So it will now bring you back to your dashboard right here you'll be able to see the form you've created then you can edit it anytime you want and you can also delete and deactivate one thing you must ensure you do for the form to display on your blog is that you must ensure that you've added your site code to your blog so if you come right here to settings you see get site code then you click i want the code so this is the melamonch code make sure you add this code before the closing head tag of your blog if you fail to do this the form will never display on your site well, if you don't know how to add a code to the header section, you can ask for how to get it done via comments. I will also try to add a link to the description of this video on YouTube on how to place this code to the header section of your blog. That's it for now. Have fun.